Good morning, Saugus. I'm Sean Pacheco, and today is Tuesday, January 10th. And I'm Marissa Lamas. This is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd tell you about how dolphins were studied as war tools during the Cold War. During the 45-year conflict, both the U.S. and Soviet Union explored obscure tactics for advantages against their enemies. In 1960, military researchers, excuse me, really, military researchers began using bottlenose dolphins to imitate torpedoes in an attempt to create better ones. Upon testing their ability and intelligence, the U.S. Navy studied different marine animals to find the most precise and eventually recruited the bottlenose dolphins as part of the U.S. Navy Marine Mammal Training Program in San Diego, California. The dolphins were utilized to find underwater mines to help them avoid them in com combat, as well as flag presence of enemy swimmers using canal, excuse me, boy, but, excuse me, buoys. Though the program has existed since the 60s, the mammals have never been seen in combat. Their only experience was during the Vietnam and Iran-Iraq wars, when they were deployed to protect ships and submarines. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. The Assistance League of Santa Clarita Scholarship has five scholarships, valued at $1,500 each, available for seniors' secondary education. In order to, excuse me, in order to apply, you must be a resident of Santa Clarita, be an upperclassman in the William S. Hart District with a GPA of 2.0 or higher, and plan to continue education at vocational school, community college, or a four-year college or university. To apply, you must write a 350-word essay addressing the prompt on the current application on the Santa Clarita Valley Scholarship Foundation website. Applications are due to, due to counselors by January 20th. COC's Road to Employment Day will be on January 28th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on the corner of Rockwell Canyon Road and Valencia Boulevard to help students explore career education programs and other employment opportunities in Santa Clarita. For more information, email the address or use the link listed below. Now, let's go to Matt Hollenbaugh with today's Saga Sports Update. Thanks, Marissa. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Matt Hollenbaugh with today's Saugus Sports Update. Today, girls basketball plays Canyon. JV and Varsity play at Saugus, and Frosch plays at Canyon. JV plays at 3.30, Varsity plays at 5, and Frosch plays at 6.30. Boys basketball plays against Canyon. Varsity plays at Saugus, and JV plays at Canyon. JV starts at 3.30, and Varsity starts at 6.30. Also today, Boys Soccer plays Canyon at Canyon. Farage plays at 3.15, Varsity plays at 5, and JV plays at 6.30. Girls Soccer plays Canyon at Saugus. Varsity starts at 3.15, JV starts at 5, and Frosh starts at 3.30, or 6, excuse me, 6.30. Good luck to all of our Centurion athletes. That's all for me. Now, let's go to an important message on internet privacy. Remember to be cautious, Saugus. You never know who's on the other side. Drop-offs are not accepted for meal services or parents. 
If you need to pick something up from your parents, meet them at the front gate during passing periods, brunch, lunch, or open periods. Open period stickers are not available in the ASB office yet for this semester. If you've had a schedule change and need to leave campus during your open period, you must show your schedule to the campus supervisors at the gate until stickers are ready. That's all for today. I'm Sean Pacheco. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. If you need somewhere to get away from the rain, the gym and NPR are both open. And I'm Marissa Lamas. Due to unforeseen circumstances, tomorrow's assembly has been rescheduled to January 25th. The assembly schedule will be resent to the, excuse me, resent closer to the 25th. Tomorrow's schedule will be a regular late start Wednesday, so enjoy sleeping in. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Thursday.